Hey! Eight of the day. An old jitterbug. An old rattling style. Black. Is there any other color? I do modify mine with the bigger, longer reach uh, eel claw hooks. And I use uh, line ties. Brain's working the day. I use line ties so I can turn that hook. Notice there's no split ring. So I can turn that hook where I want it and that's how it stays. I got the front hook cut off so it rides over anything I want it to. And at nighttime, that makes it so much easier to unhook fish rather than having a mouthful of treble hooks. You just got a couple of them. They come off a lot easier at night. But check that out. That's the old logo. Got quite a few of these. This is a great bait a lot of people have forgotten about. Are you ready to run a gun? It's time for Blast Off. Let's go. Hey guys, Todd here with you. Welcome back to Bassin 101, where we make fishing simple for everybody. There's a, this is an important topic that I don't hear people talk about, line conditioners. You never hear anybody talk about it. Is it hype or is it real? It's real. There's no hype in it. Now there's some crap um, products out there. There's some good products out there. The two I have the most co the confidence in and that I have used for 20 years or more, one, bam, line and reel magic. And I'm afraid this one's kind of mostly wore out. This is an old one, but tangle free. This is still available, but you got to look for it. This is for monofilament. Okay. This is for everything. Even your reels. If your reels start getting stuck during the day. You can spray some of that on it. It'll do just fine. This stuff, literally, is magic. This is awesome for monofilament. Now, monofilament, as most of you guys know, as you fish with it during a day, it starts casting great. You know why? It's soaking water. Okay? But what you do with this stuff here, or this type of conditioner, is you make your first cast and then put a few drops of this on the spool. Just a few drops. See how much of that is missing out of the bottle? I think I cracked this open like 10 years ago. What does that tell you? Yeah, just, just a little. That's all it takes. And then you crank your line back on there. Now if you want to be double sure, spritz some of that on it. But you can use this stuff immediately and start fishing with it. You don't have to let it soak overnight. This is not hype. This is the real stuff. You also got KVD, you've got Ardent, you got, there's, there's several others out there that are good stuff. Okay. So I'm not going to down any products. There are some that are junk. I mean, it's like that in any kind of, any kind of product for fishing, you're going to have the good stuff. And you're going to have the junk. That's just the way it is. Um, but I highly recommend these two right here. I've never had a problem with them, especially if you're fishing in the winter time, you can hit this on your rod. It keeps your guides from freezing up and icing over. Um, I always use this uh, when I'm loading the boat or I'm loading a kayak. When I'm getting my reels and stuff out, I always hit wham, 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 wham with all my reels, throw them in the boat, and then I'm good to go. But if I don't use this on my first cast, I notice a difference. Huge difference. So I always keep a can of this on me, regardless. Don't always have this on me. But if I don't have this on me, I definitely have this. There's no doubt about it. Now, as far as the box that I'm putting together, my simplified box, 
both of these are in there. But again, look into some of this stuff. If you're not familiar with line conditioners, I highly recommend you look into it. It's not a huge investment, but if you want one that's going to do everything, that. That will do it. Braid, fluorocarbon. Oh my gosh, fluorocarbon is awful for memory. It's hideous. This helps. This helps a lot. Braid. Sometimes you're backlashing on braid or you're getting loose line on braid or whatever. Bam. That stuff helps. It really does help it out. It really conditions it. And I never really have to apply this anymore during the day. Just the one time in the morning and that's it. Or when you start. Night. Whatever. One time. Done. But again, this is good stuff too. Especially if you've had monofilament sitting on your, on your reel for a while and you haven't used it. After you make the first cast, a couple, one, one drop, two drops, because trust me, it spreads out in the reel. It's, uh, it kind of reminds you of uh, the consistency is kind of like uh, Dawn dish liquid and water. That's kind of the consistency of this. As you can see it's not, it's not real thick, but it's not real runny either. So one drop, and you can actually watch it spread across the reel. So it's, you know, again, look this up, Tangle Free. It's been around for 25, 30 years. But it's getting to where only one or two suppliers even carry it anymore. And they're not major suppliers. They're more of your online uh, mom-pop store kind of thing that have their own websites. That's where you find a lot of this stuff. This you can find anywhere from Walmart to the hardware store to, you know, anywhere. Now, if you, if you don't have access to stuff like this, but you have access to a hardware store, if you can find 100% silicone spray, get that. Or if, you, or if you find it in a can or a bottle or something, mix it 50-50 with water. Spray that on your, on your line, on your reel, any kind of line you're using. That works good, too. That way you've, you've got um, your own. You can carry your own in little container bottles if you want to or however you want to do it. But 100% silicone spray does really good. Don't use WD-40. For the simple fact it leaves a residue. And the company themselves even say, don't use it as a line conditioner. Because some guys think, oh, that, well, the, the scent attracts fish. You know, it also leaves an oil slick in the water. You, this doesn't. This doesn't. So, and, and silicone doesn't either. So keep that in mind. Um, so you can, you know, you can make your own conditioner. But guys, it's not hype. You know, I understand this is just my opinion. I'm sure your other you guys out there have your opinion. I know some guys just take their reel, just dunk it in the water, reel rod and all, and go ahead and just keep on casting it. I'm guilty. I've done it. Especially if you haven't thrown a, a, a rod or reel for a couple hours, and you know, the line dries out on it, and dunk, you know, and throw your next shot out there. I've done it. But this will still coat it. This won't wash off. So, again... I hope this helps you out a little bit, guys. Um, like I said, nobody talks about this. And part of this channel is I, I talk about stuff nobody talks about. Or at least you rarely ever see. The only person you might see talking about the stuff I, I talk about is Randy Blockett. You know, he's, he's the same way. He tells it like it is. He don't care. You know, it is what it is. You can call it our opinion. You know, and that's what it is. That's the beautiful thing about fishing. Everybody's got their own ways of doing stuff. And if it works, we can't tell you it's wrong. So, again, tell your friends about the channel, guys. I'm getting a lot of good feedback from people, especially through emails. Um, if you haven't subscribed, it's your first time here. Welcome. We, uh, Like I said, we make things simple. And, we try, and I try to put together stuff that answers questions that nobody's even asking on the Internet. Nobody's even asking on YouTube. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, click the notification bell so you know when I post new stuff up. I try to get everything up on the week, on every weekend. Sometimes even during the week, I might pop up something on there. So make sure you try to stay, stay in tune with everything and don't miss out on, on a single episode. So thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it. May the Father bless you and keep you in Yeshua's name. And keep your lines tight and fish on.